Yes. Okay. All right. Well, Connor, you've been selected as uh, the flag bearer for the uh, Santiago Chile Pan Am Games. How does that make you feel on birthday day? Yeah, I mean, it's great. It's a great, great honor to be able to fly the flag with Emma uh, tomorrow at the opening ceremony. So, I mean, and for it to be on my birthday, too, it's pretty special. Yeah, yeah. So, how has training been going? I mean, you guys done really well uh, last weekend in, in uh, Guadeloupe, um, you know, performing rather well. So, how have things been shaping up for, for this event? Uh, I mean, training's been going well. It's been pretty consistent throughout the year. Um, doing some final long training rides and to get ready for next weekend in the road race and then also for this weekend in the time trial. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it's been going as good as it can be, I guess. Yeah. Did just time trial surprise you or you, you, you were been hurling back for that one? No, I mean, we've all, we've been close for, for the whole year. Like we've each won two time trials at this point against each other. So, I mean, it's kind of at this point who has the better day. Right. So, um, no, I mean. I think the real supply, surprise in that time trial was Nick. Like, Nick's never been that close to us in the TT. To only be 18 seconds down was a real surprise, especially when we had pretty good days. Yeah. And um, going, just going back to the flag briefly, is it something as an athlete that you think of beforehand, before they tell you, do you go, actually you really want to carry this flag? Or is it just something that adds to the experience? I mean, yes and no. I mean, it's cool to see, like, the when you on TV, when the Olympics, just like when you see the people walking out holding the flag, you're like, oh, that'd be cool to do. But... It's not something that I have as like a, a goal of mine because you never know how the selection works. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome that I get to do it. But yeah, I wasn't really, I mean, it wasn't like, a, oh, I can't wait to be the flag bearer. But I mean, now that I am, it's, it's a real honor. And obviously this race this weekend is going to be a different level up from Caribbean Championships. Yeah. Um, you're going to be facing much more experienced, much quicker rivals. How are you feeling about that? Um, it's definitely going to be a, a hard race for sure. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of really strong guys in the race, like the current Olympic champion is going to be in both of our races. So the level is going to be high, but I think we will be able to hold our own and do pretty well. Well, Emma, you've been chosen as the flag bearer for the opening ceremony tomorrow night uh, for the uh, Pan American Games. Um, was that is that something you, you, you've been aspiring to or, or something that really makes you proud that you were leading out your nation at a major festival? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's always such a huge honor just to represent Bermuda. So on top of that, to be the flag bearer is just, it's going to be such an incredible experience. I know it's one of those things that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. And, you know, as an athlete, it's, it's such a um, cool experience to be a part of something which isn't necessarily, you know, a competition in itself, but just, you know, to represent your country outright is, yeah, it's going to be amazing and I really can't wait. Sure, sure. Now, how has your season been going? I've been tracking you at uh, Penn State. Um, Jack's been swimming well. Yes. <laughs> uh, he started the season off great. Yeah. You, you've you had a bit of time off. Yeah, so I took um, about three weeks off in August, and then since then, because I'm redshirting this year, which essentially means that I won't be competing for the college team just to focus on um, – this me and Worlds and then hopefully the Olympic Games. Um, it's kind of uh, made my season look a little bit different this year, so I haven't really competed in any official competitions per se. But, you know, I've been doing a lot of, like, race efforts and practice, you know, a lot of kind of, like, mini mock meets, um, which I think have prepared me really well for this competition. Um, of course, it's a little bit different uh, coming in and not having had done, like, an official race in a few months. But, you know, I feel really well prepared, and I'm super excited to get started. Coming off that performance at CAC, how much confidence do you have in your ability to, to raise your standard? Yeah, I mean, I think CAC really gave me a lot of confidence, uh, not just from a performance aspect, but, you know, being able to come out and when you're representing your country to kind of festival type games, it's just a different level of pressure. So I think I've learned a lot from my experience there. I'm taking that a lot with me here. Um, you know, I, I think there's a lot of similarities between here and CAC, other than, you know, this is a much bigger meet and there's the field is really strong here. Um, but, you know, I'm really excited and hopefully I can, you know, match my performances from there. And yeah, I really can't wait to get started. Um. So my first question is, how heavy is the flag? You don't want to be, uh, <laughs> you don't want to be hurting your muscles before the swimming. So surely that would be something you did it. You've got a test to do? You know, I haven't done a test yet, but I'm sure hopefully the flag uh, bearer, does, like the design for the flag bearers have kept that in mind. But, you know, either way, I'll be a good little warm-up, I guess, for yeah, Sunday. <laughs> I don't want to be interviewing you after your first race going, I was so tired. Uh, so oh, so I just switch arms halfway through. No, uh, um, you know, I, th I think it'll be an amazing experience, as I say. And, yeah, hopefully uh, it doesn't uh, wear out my legs or anything too much. 
much, but I think in those moments, you know, the adrenaline and just the kind of energy that surrounded you, I feel like even if the flag was 100 pounds, it probably would feel like nothing just with all the excitement and energy around you. And your first race is Sunday? Yes, correct. And so what are your expectations? Are you going to just be pushing for PBs and... Yeah, I mean, I think my goals are to, you know, push for those A finals um, and, you know, just kind of see how uh, high up in the standings I can be. Um, definitely push for PVs and hopefully get closer to those uh, Bermuda Olympic qualification times. Um, but, you know, again, as I mentioned earlier, this is a, a kind of unusual time for such a major meet to be or such a major competition to be in the season. So I think it's kind of a, just a really good indication of, you know, where I'm at and also kind of learning how to perform when I haven't necessarily had like six months of training. You know, as I mentioned, I took a break in August. So I think it'll be really interesting to see, you know, maybe this kind of approach to training is something that suits me more, you know, taking a break, you know, kind of roughly two outs from a big competition and seeing if that freshness will help me. And I, I don't know, I have a good feeling about it. I, I feel like traditionally at this time of the year in smaller meets, I tend to do quite well. So I'm just really excited. And the flag is another one up on Jack, I suppose. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know we have a little tally going on. So he's a little, a little younger than me. So he's got two years, I guess, to, to catch back up. But, you know, I'm sure he's going to do really well here. He's been training really well. And that's, you know, such an amazing thing about both being at Penn State. You know, we see each other every day and we push each other. And it's really cool to be able to see his progress. And, you know, I think it helps a lot because you can come to these meets and we can kind of talk to each other and say, you know, like you're going to do great, but it has a lot of backing to it because we really do see each other train every day. So you can say, oh, you're going to do great. Like you've done this, this and this in practice. Like I really believe in you. Like you should believe in yourself too. And I think just that level of like connection we have is, you know, it makes these things so fun, but also just so much easier coming in, you know, having him there. Great. I think that's it for me. Yep.